Hey there friends, today I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool and that's how to translate a bunch of languages in Google Sheets all at once using a very simple formula. So this is something that I use a lot for QA work that I do, but you may find your own purposes for wanting to translate large amounts of languages all at once. So with that, let's get right to it. So this is the document that I created and you can actually save this to your own drive and that way you can edit it and try it out for yourself. Just go to file make a copy, and then save it to your drive. So the way the translation works is really simple. It's actually in both columns D and E here. So you'll see it's equals Google Translate. I'm referencing cell C2. English, EN, is the input language. So it works off of these two letter codes that you'll see in column A. And then the output language is whichever two letter code is in column A. So uh, I'm gonna go down to a German, and I'll put have a and pardon my bad typing, have a happy birthday. And as you can see, it updates, simple as that. So you can do this for a one-off purpose, but then also in column E here, all these update based on the value in cell G2. So I'll just put, I would love to learn your language. It's going to take a while because it has a lot of languages to translate and update here. So it's going to say loading for a little bit. But as you can see, then it updates all the languages all at once. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's one way you can do it. If you just want to translate the English copy into a different language, you can certainly do it that way. Um, otherwise, the way that I use it most often is I'll get a different language that I'm not familiar with and I want to translate it to make sure that it matches up with the English copy that we have. So. In this case, I'm really just uh, changing the place of these two values in the formula. So now instead of uh, EN being the second piece of criteria, it's at the end. So we're taking the value in cell um, C1, or C2, I'm sorry, and we're taking A2 as the input language and English as the output. So I'll go down um, you know, I'm not great at knowing other languages, but I do, you know, I have drink my fair share of Dos Equis in my life. So instead of saying uh, hola, I'm going to put cerveza. And as you can see, that updates just as it should. So again, this is something that is really helpful if you need to understand uh, what another language is saying and just making sure that it matches up pretty closely with what you're expecting. So that's two ways to do it. And then the final way also is uh, really neat. And this time I'm actually changing the formula a little bit. So we aren't using Google Translate anymore. We're doing detect language. So if you would get some copy and you aren't even sure what language it is, uh, you can use this. So I'm just saying uh, detect the language in cell A2, and then it's gonna return that two letter code. And from that, I've just done a VLOOKUP so that I can actually find out what language it is. Uh, a little bit more easily than trying to remember by the two-letter code. And then I also have, then I'm translating it back to English from whichever language it is. So as you can see right here, it is just in English. So that's pretty easy to understand. But here's some copy that I found from around the web. So I'll just paste this in. And as you can see, this is obviously uh, Polish. And it says, do you want to live? It's from the Germany website, but it says, in fact, you can probably see that up here that I actually have that right there. Uh, it's from the Germany website, but it says, do you want to live in Germany? Uh, exp explain important concepts that'll help you better understand Germany. And then I found this uh, from the Tour de France. So it's gonna update and it's gonna show you there enough. It's in French. So uh, would love to hear your feedback on this. Is this something that you knew about or is this brand new? And do you think you're gonna find it useful? So. Like I said, feel free to make a copy for yourself, try it out, and would love to hear your thoughts.